Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Delhi Township Board of Trustees meeting for January the 11th, 2023. Um, as our usual procedure goes, we will start with the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Tonight's moment of silence is twofold. The first is for a beautiful gentleman who was with part of our CERT, our Community Emergency Response Team, for just a number of years, Bob Miller. He was 92 years old, and I think he worked on the CERT team way up into his 80s, and he was a great addition to that CERT response team. So we mourn the loss of Bob Miller. Also, I want to share with all of you that yesterday marked the passing of Tammy Jenkins. Tammy was the wife of Don Jenkins, which many of us know as the chairman and chief of the Delhi Skirt Game. Tammy was an unbelievable warrior in her fight with cancer. She had a true army of family and friends fighting with her, but yesterday the fight was over. She is survived by five children. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, three, three children, all boys, Charles, Matthew, and Andrew, and the grandma of five. So I think all of us offer support to John Jenkins and the loss of Tammy and um, all that they have done as a family for the Delhi Skirt Game. So if you could please, in your moment of silence, Mr. Bob Miller and Tammy Jenkins. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Okay. This is officially my last meeting as chairman of the board, and I will be passing the gavel to Trustee Davis. You know, when we run for trustee, none of us run to be elected as chairman. And so it's been the tradition here that we share that responsibility and that honor. And it truly, truly has been an honor. It's always a privilege to represent this township, the people who work here, the people who live here. It's just a, it's an unbelievable thank you. I mean, it's the best job ever. So I am about to pass the gavel now to Trustee Davis. If I could have the motion, please, Mr. Luby. Uh, I'll let you guys go ahead and. Okay. You do the motion. No, you do the motion, oh. we do the second. Uh, motion to appoint yeah. board chairperson for 2023. I move to appoint Trustee Mike Davis as board chairman. I second that motion, Mr. Luby. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Congratulations, Mr. Davis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take my Thank notes. You, Cheryl. Thank you so much, and thank you, Trustee Siri, for your leadership of the Board of Trustees this past year and beyond, and, and uh, I thought it was interesting. You said nobody runs to be chairperson, chairman of the board. Some might run from it, but <laughs> um, it is certainly an honor, and, and I hope that I can, can uh, keep up with what uh, all goes into it. And, and uh, again, it's all about the residents and giving you the best possible service that you truly deserve and pay well for uh, here to be in the township. So uh, thank you so much, and we shall move on. Approval of the minutes, please. Mr. Luby. Motion to approve the minutes from the Board of Trustees regular meeting held on December 28th, 2022, and dispense with the reading. So moved. Second. All those in favor. Yes. 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 Motion approved. Motion to approve the minutes from the Board of Trustees special meeting held on December 28th, 2022, and dispense with the reading. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion approved. Motion to approve the payment of overtime for pay periods ending December 27th, 2022. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Yes. Ooh. Motion approved. Motion to approve bills for payment. So moved. Second. 
All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion approved. Mr. Luby, continue on with the report from our fiscal officer. Resolution 2023-1, resolution requesting the county auditor to make advance payments of taxes pursuant to RC 321.34 and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Do we have any discussion on this resolution? It looks pretty simple, payment taxes. <laughs> It's, a, right. it's, a, it's an annual resolution, and it just yep. enables us to get the real estate taxes in advance so we can pay our bills. There you go. We like it. <clears throat> I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading. Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Motion, or excuse me, resolution passes. Mm -hmm. Resolution 2023-2, resolution authorizing the township administrator to spend greater than $10,000 on behalf of the township, declaring an emergency and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Discussion on this resolution. Mike, what are we spending? Well, we're spending all Is your mic on? <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's start over from the pledge. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is um, a resolution that basically uh, provides us the opportunity to um, sp spend the funds that have been appropriated and uh, rather than each time the having a separate resolution for each motion um, that comes up where we spend more than ten thousand dollars each year at the beginning of the year we know there are certain expenditures that are going to occur we know the approximate amount and so we lump them all into one resolution, not to say there won't be subsequent ones. However, this covers about 50 different appropriations that we've made over the year, and so that will save you from having to do 50 resolutions during the rest of the year. And for that, we are grateful. <laughs> Thank you. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. Significant yeah. transactions since the last meeting. Um, on January 4th, we had deposits of $56,000, which is from our motor vehicle license tax, local government fund, and a gasoline tax. And we also had $68,000 in EMS reimbursements. And as far as disbursements on 1-5, our payroll was $317,000. That's all I have. Thank you so much. Okay. Trustee Correspondence, Trustee Sturtz. Uh, yes. Um, you know, people say sometimes our department, or let's say the police and fire, you know, they always have this, this little thing about, you know, with each other, competition, let's say, whatever. But lately we've been getting some really good um, emails, messages, phone calls about how well our departments work together. Uh, case in point, the police department gave a shout out to Ron Rippiger. God bless you, Ron. Um, during the snow emergency over the holidays, quote, Ron is always willing to help us out in any way possible, whether it's grabbing signs to assist with traffic control or making contact with parties to assist with county related issues. And that came from Sergeant, Sergeant Goddard on your behalf. Um, also, Mark Myers, Officer Mark Myers, sent a note to the fire chief uh, regarding the help he received after an auto accident recently. Katie LaCasto, Andy Ely, and John Helm stayed behind after an auto accident to help him clean up tons, as he put it, of drywall screws that were left in the roadway. They didn't have to do that. That was more or less his job, and they helped. So again, we have this interaction among our, our, our uh, departments. I think the, the most telling is um, Mercy Hospital, the fire department, uh, recently checked on a cardiac run that we had. And uh, they were told the patient is alive due to the quick response by the Delhi police officer on the scene who showed up before fire got there using his AED uh, that they carry in their cars with them now. Thank you, Ben, um, or no, not Ben, I'm sorry, Mike Ben Hazy from Delhi uh, Dunkin' Donuts. He bought those. For our, so we could have them in the cars. That person is alive today because we have the AEDs that the police are trained on to be first responders if uh, the fire department doesn't get there first. So thank you very much for that. And then we got three resident calls talking about the wonderful care they get from our EMTs. And uh, we know we've got the best. And we're glad that our residents know we, that they are living in a township that has the best. And thank you for all the training that the um, chiefs 
put the people through so that they can help everybody. So everybody, you're in really good hands out there and know that uh, it's a great place to live when it comes to fire and, and uh, health safety. So thank you. A little, little winded, but I don't, no. don't think we can have enough kudos out there about our employees. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Great notes. Trustee Seavey. Um, just a plea, quick plea. If it's um, 2023 and our We Thrive Committee is back in line, um, we met briefly today at Delshire to talk about um, mental health issues in ch with children and in schools. But we do have a pathway for the entire year for 2023, which is all about mental health. And we really we're looking for volunteers to help us. Our next meeting is Thursday, February the 2nd. I think that's Groundhog's Day. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, isn't it? Yes, I'm getting yes. Um, remember that and try to join us at We Thrive. It's a good way to um, participate with the community, with our health, our wellness, and our safety. So February the 2nd, Groundhog Day, We Thrive. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, departments, please. Fire Department. We have a hiring recommendation there, Chief. We have a motion to approve the hiring of Jacob P. Kelly as part-time firefighter EMT in the Fire Department at the rate per the collective bargaining agreement with the Delhi Firefighters Association upon successful completion of the voice stress analyzer, pre-employment physical, drug testing, and background check effective on January 11th, 2023. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion approved. Chief. No, we're excited to bring Jacob on, um, longtime Delhi resident, and certainly excited to see what he can do for us. He's already lived in the community. Now he gets to serve in the community. So we're excited to bring him on. Do you know when you'll be uh, swearing him in or? Um, so he, he just received his certification. We ha still have the background check and a number of the physical one, things like that. So we're still probably three or four weeks out before we see Jacob Great. up. And we hope that you'll introduce him here, or bring him here for all that, and so we can we can accommodate. If I that's, think that'd be great. Yeah, I think we've done do. that in the past. I think police, fire. That's just nice when people get to meet meet who the people are that are might absolutely be taking care of them. It's a great great practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Chairman Davis, can yeah. I ask uh, the yeah. chief to give us last year's numbers? I think we need to tout. Uh, all the good stuff that our departments have done and I, you know, one that's safety service. I think our, our people out there need to know. Yeah. Okay. You would. Yeah, sure. Um, so we, we just finished our 87th year of service to this community. So in that 87 years, um, 2022 is going to go down with some records. So we saw 4,225 runs. That's more runs than we've ever had in our last 87 years. Also, the difference in runs, the increase was the first double-digit increase of, in our history um, year to year at 10% over 2021. And finally, December of all months, um, we had 404 runs just in December alone. Never had anything close to that. And even, even Storm, Ike came through. We had, you know, like 63 calls for, for um, Ike. It pales in comparison to the, the amount of service that we're providing. I mean, it's just, it's unreal. And, and finished out the year with still four minute 39 average response time. So to put it in perspective, over a third of our runs are double runs. So that means you have two Delhi units out taking care of folks in that period of time to still achieve those response times and be able to accommodate. I mean, it just says a lot about how well the, the service is distributed through our entire township, every resident. So at the 4,200 level plus, that's over 80 a week. Runs yeah, that we I, I mean, we're, we're close that's to 12 lot. incident or 12 runs a day. And certainly we do favor EMS calls and you think about a transport and the amount of time it takes to turn around. The crews are much busier now. I, I mean, it doesn't take away from the fact they're doing their fire safety ins inspections, they're doing their train tours, anything, you know, to accommodate the public in any way that we possibly can. For me, right? it's mind boggling. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully we never have a year like 2022 and before that with everything going on, knock on wood. Mm -hmm. Did you have anything, Trustee CB there? Well, just one little quick comment. 
I had on my Delhi Fire t-shirt walking through Mercy West <laughs> and got stopped by the emergency room doctor going, yay, we love Delhi. And I'm like, okay, good to hear. We're, we're happy. And I, it kind of startled me because I thought, why is he, why is he stopped? And then I realized that I had on that t-shirt. So there you go. And to those folks on the west side of Delhi Township, uh, Mark, that that station turned the highest increase of all three stations. Oh. So. That's just something interesting to those folks mm. out there. Mm -hmm. So the the need has increased. Um, the service levels have increased out on the west side of the Delhi. We haven't seen it in a while, so but it's enough that it's we, it's noticeable. And also your response times. Correct. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Nothing, nothing's that's, changing with that, and still that's able amazing. To meet that. So I'm happy to report to the board. I, I think 2022 goes down as a successful year, and hopefully many more to come. We would say so. All right. Good job, Thank you. Chief. Thank you. Great. Parks and Rec, please. Super, how are you? Hello. I have nothing on the agenda tonight, but if you have any... Uh, How's it going in the parks in the, in the month of January? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty busy. Yeah, so. I bet. Getting ready. Yeah. Spring's around the corner. Yeah, working on everything. We are... Uh, just a little update. We are remodeling the lodge. Uh, the floors are under construction right now. Um, I will have pictures and updates. Uh, they're not very good right now. They're just destruction right now, so... I'll have a better look when it comes up. Maybe and that next was meeting. part of a grant, wasn't it? It was a CDBG grant, yep. yes, for this year. So we Good have job. this one, and we have uh, another CDBG grant for uh, our pathways in the park as well. So right. we're working on those as well. One of the things we uh, talked about in the budget meeting and such was your sound system there in the lodge and having it so it's easy, <laughs> user-friendly to just hit the button, and then we have the mics and things. Is that on your agenda? Or is yeah, that we, um, Dan and myself, and we ordered new uh, equipment uh, along with the remodel. We're going to do some upgrades. Um, the senior center it has been done. Uh, we're still finishing touches on that. Uh, the, the lodge is next. we got new speakers, new uh, setup, so... Awesome. Yeah, new, uh, we did get the same video screen for there as well once everything's done. Good. It'll all be installed. Yeah. And you're always so. taking applications for workers in the park. <laughs> always doing applications as now. <laughs> Events coordinator and uh, coming up in the next few months, we'll get all of our seasonals back. You know, hopefully all the new, the existing and some new ones. So. I was watching at home. We're looking for people to work the park spring and summer and events coordinators and good. I thought That's you busy. were going to ask when the opening day for pickleball is. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up with pickleball? Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I don't want to steal your thunder. Pickleball. Go. So pickleball, I'm in contact. I have the first available date when they're able to paint the final surface uh, along with the permanent netting. So that'll be when the weather breaks. Uh, meeting a fence guy. Uh, company Thursday or Friday was supposed to be this week, so he'll be out this week, the end of the week. There you so, go. Yeah. Yep. It's in the process. Thank you so. for everything you do. And you're looking for custodians too then? I mean, Always custodians, one retired. yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. And so the lodge is down. Uh, we are, have an excess of uh, senior center rental right now. Uh, lodge is down until the beginning of April. Oh. So that's our time frame of remodel. So. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what you do in the parks in the winter. That's, <laughs> that's what right. you do. Police department, please. <clears throat> Chief. We have resolution 2023-3, resolution declaring necessity for levying tax exceeding 10 mil limitation, certifying proposed 2.99 mils police protection levy questions to the Hamilton County Auditor, declaring an emergency and dispense with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Discussion, please. Thank you, trustees. This first one, along with the next two resolutions, are three different mill amounts uh, that we need to pass the resolutions to get down to the county auditors to uh, certify the amounts to see what kind of uh, dollars that they bring back. So that's what the next two resolutions are also. Three different amounts. So just to clarify, for people listening, they understand, we are not saying we're going to have three levies. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, this needs to be sent down to the auditor so that they can tell us what kind of money we would reap That's from correct. these different millages, and then we decide. And then you would decide on which amount would suit the needs to continue okay. on. With. Just want to make sure everybody Services. understands that then we're not putting three, no. <laughs> three right. levies on. Yep. Thank well, you. We're looking to do put a levy on in May. Correct, in May. And then at the next meeting, we would take uh, – Take the amount that we feel we bring in the dollar amount from the county auditor that would work and present and the vote would have to be made on one of these three to put that on the resolution pass the resolution to put that on the ballot in may and just for <clears throat> review chief when was the last time we had a police levy 2014 14. Yeah. so it's been 10 years so the five year lasted 
Ten years. Ten years. Correct. Nine. 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 Well, yeah. yeah, that is true. We start getting the money. Yeah, we okay. started, and people do need to realize that uh, this funding won't come in until next year. So exactly. we don't start to get the fund until 24, which we got the money, the funds from the 2014 levy starting in 2015. Okay. Yeah, levies and things like that. Nobody likes to talk about that, but you know, when it comes to public safety, I, <clears throat> in these days. We do what we got to do. We want to stay safe and we want to keep our things nice. So good. More to, more to come on that down the road. But for now, that will all go to the uh, auditor and we'll see how it rolls. Thank you so much for the work for that, for the financial advisory board who helped advise, Mike, Lemon, everyone involved with that. So thank you. Jim. Mr. Good. Mr. Davis, Chairman. May yeah. I? I'm sorry. The uh, Just to confirm what, what Ms. Sturt's saying, a lot of jurisdictions, a lot of school boards, frankly, do this where they're past the three numbers that you're doing uh, and then you just decide in two weeks as you guys have outlined which number you want to do so this is very standard smart process because if you don't do the right certification then you got to go out and do it again so rather than doing that the trustees are being very smart and chief in administration is smart for recommending that so you don't have to do it again and you'll decide at your next meeting whatever millage is it won't be three levies it'll only be one and it'll only be one amount but you still need to do this step process first and if you didn't know what you didn't know then you'd have to redo the process so it's good smart planning okay. thank you very good thank any you. other discussion i move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution i second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution all those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading yes 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 mr luby please call the roll mrs sturtz yes mrs cv yes mr davis yes Motion, or excuse me, resolution passes. Resolution 2023-4, resolution declaring necessity for levying tax exceeding 10 mil limitation, certifying proposed 3.25 mils police protection levy questions to the Hamilton County Auditor, declaring an emergency and dispense through the second reading. I introduce move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any uh, further discussion? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading. Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution 2023-5, resolution declaring necessity for levying tax exceeding 10 mil limitation, certifying proposed 3.49 mils police protection levy questions to the count Hamilton County Auditor, Declaring an emergency and dispensing with second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any other discussion on these resolutions? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading. Yes. Yes, Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. All of those resolutions pass, and we shall see what the auditor has to say. Thank you so much. Public Works. Thank you, trustees. Nothing on the agenda, but I can go over some uh, exciting construction projects for the summer if you want, real fast. Uh, let's see, just for 2023 uh, public works projects, we have about $2 million in construction that we manage throughout the summer. It's a little over 700,000 in sort of sidewalk grants, which we've seen go through the meetings this past few months. Um, Sidewalks going for those watching at home. Yes, Mount Alverno, Delhi Pike between Paul, Greenwell, be Delhi Pike between, on Greenwell between Delhi Pike and Mount Alverno, and Neb Road between Foley and Delhi Pike. And I've had quite a few uh, interests in a couple of them anyway. And those were the ones that we already opened the bids for? Correct. As part of the SORTA? Yes. Okay. Pre construction meetings scheduled for this Friday for all of those. Great. And then our yearly uh, road project is about 1.3 million, and it, we're uh, rehabbing the streets off of Devil's Backbone, the hickories, greenery. So we've had that planned for a little while. Excited about that. Um, also wrapping up about 13 years of on and off FEMA grants. Um, scheduled to be complete in March, no more extensions. Totaling, I don't have the exact number, but over 30 flood prone homes. And a demo on the last house is scheduled for next week. Wow. So I'm working there today. Yeah. 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 That's a long time. <laughs> yeah. That's three fiscal been. officers worth. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> right. It's millions of dollars. I know it's been through the board every few years easy. 
Um, also, that's pretty exciting is Mount Averno paving. Um, that's from Delhi to Delhi Pike. So that's probably one of the roughest roads in Delhi. So we're excited about that. Scheduled for this summer. I don't have an exact time yet. And of course, the uh, everybody's kind of waiting on Fairbanks to get paved. I did check on that this week. It is still scheduled. Be out to bid soon. They are doing some traffic light additions mm -hmm. at the sharp corner at Fairbanks, but I think it'll go smooth. What do you think will go smooth? Then putting a light there? The paving. Yeah, <laughs> no, the paving. I think it, yeah. Who usually the traffic lights are timed to where, you know, they'll catch the majority of the traffic. I don't think much traffic comes down the hill from there. So I think it'll stay majority green for the most part. Let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope. Did you, uh, by chance, check into the lights up on the pike that we talked about? They didn't find any problems. I know usually when I do call, a lot of times they do, but sometimes they don't. Yeah, I just, again, it's the turn arrows on at 1145 at night as you're sitting there. It makes absolutely no sense. There's no cars, so they're not censored. So something's clicking those in. I did catch the one at Frisch's double cycle on me, but he said if it catches it at a certain time, it, it'll do that sometimes. So That's really not good because I know what he's talking about, and they're not the, the lights all the way down Dow High Pipe yeah. are not synced. I mean, it's like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. So I don't know when they're checking these, but um, they need to come back. They're probably it's not probably, doing it at 11 o'clock at night. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah they're, I'm checking sure they're day. checking it during working hours. So I can mention that. Yeah. yeah, it's that one, the one at McDonald's, too. It's like... And again, because we travel it every day, many times a day, you see the lights are stopping you. So obviously something has changed. If it's for the construction stuff going on with the town square, I get it. Then just tell us, well, we adjusted it because those trucks, you know, we want them to have a chance. Then fine. Then turn the – those guys leave at 5.30, 6 o'clock. Can we get back to, you know – like I said, something's different up there. You can yeah, it's a video detection that's not really a camera. It's just kind of a laser beam that picks right. up the, you know, if you're coming out of McDonald's or the park is what usually triggers it. Yeah. It may not be up far enough or. For those of us that actually far. stop at red lights. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and not to go into it. But if you can confirm it's more in the evening, which I travel these lights a lot too, and I haven't noticed a lot of it, but yeah. I'll call. Other than that, we're excited about warm weather for a few more weeks. Yeah. Good. Thank so. you, sir. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Ron. <clears throat> Administration, please. Resolution 2023-6, resolution authorizing the elected officers of Delhi Township to join the coalition of large Ohio urban townships for 2023, declaring an emergency and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce me the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Discussion on this resolution. Uh, this is an organization we usually renew each year. It's part of the Ohio Township Association. It's a group of large urban townships that band together to help assure that their legislative priorities and other interests are well represented at the OTA, and it's a very worthwhile organization and at a minimal cost. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? I move to dispense the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading. Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Community development. Does he have anything I'm not else? finished. You got more? <laughs> You've got more. You know, I, I oh, usually so. love to have some pictures. Oh. Um, so yesterday I stopped by um, the Town Square project and... Um, I took several pictures, including a video. Unfortunately, I was unable to get the video included in the presentation package, so that's unfortunate because it just shows the entire span of the project. And uh, so I'll show you what I do have. And <clears throat> if you haven't been by, the steel beams are going up. Things are moving rapidly. This is uh, kind of a general picture of showing all the concrete work that's been done and continuation of it. Mm -hmm. um, you can see a lot of work going on there. And then this is more of uh, the steel going up. 
we anticipate that the, um, the decking will, will be going up shortly, probably uh, by the end of the month or early next month. So things are moving quite rapidly. What you see here is um, the area where the uh, preschool will be and the natatorium will be at the other end and of course Del High will be in the middle. Uh, but I just want to say that um, to have seen when I first came four months ago the difference uh, of what I saw yesterday absolutely tremendous. It is uh, an exciting project. I hate to be leaving it at this moment and turn it over to Skyler, but he's going to continue the project to make sure it comes uh, to a completion. So uh, I wish him the best with that. Um, the other thing I would say is this is my last meeting, and I want to thank the trustees for not only having me for the last four months, but for all their support. I also want to thank the uh, staff and all the work and support and aid that they provided over the last four months. So thank you all very much. Um, and uh, interesting that tonight two chairs pass, one for the trustees and one for the administrators. Tomorrow is Schuyler's first day as administrator. I am bowing out whenever this meeting ends. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity. I, it's truly been a pleasure. Well, you know, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of the board, but we'll let them do theirs. You know, Mike, uh, it's been an honor. I don't know what, another word to say. The four months with you have been absolutely incredible. You're a professional. You're a gentleman. You're approachable. I mean, and you are so knowledgeable. You... You've been a mayor, an elected official. You, you've done it all. You've seen it all. And, and you know, when the other administrator went off to other, other areas in his life, you just stepped right in, and uh, you made it just incredible for us in the middle of a budget process, in the middle of... Uh, Square. Yeah, you, we could go on and on. That you, you, you worked those four months. You didn't just you sit at a desk. You worked it. And on behalf of the residents of the township, also, we thank you. Trustee Sturts? Um, yes. Uh, as we spoke at your luncheon today, your surprise luncheon. Um, it was a surprise. It was a surprise. <laughs> um, you know, again, thank you so much. It, we didn't miss a beat, which was just unbelievable because there were a lot of moving parts going on this. And we knew we had co union contracts mm -hmm. and, and just so much. And so you, you were stellar. I mean, we were blessed to have you here and uh, you always did it professionally and with so with a smile like I said in the card it may have been a grimace but it looked like a smile so thank you for your smile. enthusiasm thank you and good luck <clears throat> Trustee CV it was so great to have you set the bar where you set it when we were interviewing for the next administrator because you certainly have set an example and you really set that bar where we knew we needed to get to and so Skyler Big shoes to follow there, buddy. He's not running away yet. Absolutely. Let's do the challenge. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm Great. glad I have him on speed dial. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fiscal Officer Luby. Uh, yes. I'm, Mike, you've been a pleasure to work with. Um, you did. You came in at probably the worst time of the year and with the biggest project going on in the township in I don't know how many years. And you did. You did a stellar job. And and uh, we hope you, you know, we get to see you again. I hope you're not a stranger. So. I shall return, as All MacArthur right. said. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Well, we have a, a gift for you, if you don't mind, and we'd like to give it to you now since we're rolling in and we're talking. And, and, uh, but this is from, from uh, the township for you, and we will just slide this. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> It's not a hat, Mike. <laughs> he already took those. <laughs> He's got his hat. Okay. Don't your hats. <laughs> They're already packed away. There he is. <laughs> it's a wonderful piece of steel from the town square. <laughs> we all signed it, though. <laughs> we did. <laughs> and uh, very much. Yeah. And as we're on that, those of you that are watching at home, those that might be here in the meeting, Skylar Miller, our, our new administrator, uh, welcome him, everybody. Yes. And, uh, and we'll get into you another time. <laughs> so, 
Uh, but I, or again, every time. Yeah, yeah. The, the residents and the township benefit from, from these two incredible individuals, so it's going to be great. Mr. Chair, may I have 30 seconds just to... Yes, our attorney wants the floor. I I promise, 30 30 seconds, seconds. start start the clock. (laughs) Mike, it's this is now our third jurisdiction working together. I've enjoyed every bit of it. You filled in uh, admirably. Can't say it any better. Again, the 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 tight control of the wheel that you provided uh, is amazing. You've done it in every jurisdiction that we've worked together. So uh, we'll miss you, though. We're still going to be working together in another jurisdiction, So, uh, which I appreciate. So well done. And uh, particularly, as, as all the trustees have pointed out, at the time that you came in and keep it going and rolling. And we're looking forward to working with Skylar, too. So thank you, uh, Chairman Davis. Absolutely. Okay, so we will jump to community development, please. Resolution 2023-7, resolution declaring nuisance for accumulated debris at 365 Anderson Ferry Road, declaring an emergency and dispensing with second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Discussion, please, Tony. Yep, the next uh, four, three resolutions that Mr. Lee was going to read are this debris, one, uh, two debris, one junk motor vehicle that were still uh, in violation this morning. So we're requesting your board declare them nuisances so we continue on with our nuisance procedures and I have time to answer any questions that you may have as well. Very good, thank you. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. Yes, yes. Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2023-8, resolution providing for the removal of a junk motor vehicle at 185 Pedretti Road, declaring an emergency and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Discussion on this resolution? I think it speaks for itself. It's missing a a crucial part, (laughs) the rear end. Okay. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. Yes. Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2023-9, resolution declaring nuisance for accumulated debris at 5116 Will Ned Drive, declaring an emergency and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. What is that? Couch and it looks like a couch. Couch chairs and table and is that in the rear of the yard? That is at the curb. That's that was in. Oh, office. it's at the curb. Okay, now I got it. That was in Mike's office this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and they dumped it on Wilnet. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. Any other news? Anything else for the good of the order? I, I have nothing unless you have some questions. I have plenty of time. No, I, 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 think it, I think it's great that we talked about re, 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 repaving Mount, Mount Averno. And well, I could, I could probably top some of the figures, Trustee Davis. In 2022, community development issued $66 million in, in uh, zoning certificates. And a lot of that has to do with Delhi Town Square as well. But I think that number is... You know, exceeds the million dollar road project or whatever. Well, Tony, your job and John's job isn't easy. We know it and we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Keeping yes. track of, of all the numbers as well as, yeah, keeping all keeping the, the residents happy. Obviously, you know, we left a crucial part, a crucial part of our department left as well, you know, four months ago. Yeah. And, um, I think, you know, with Mike's guidance and everything, he's kind of kept us in track, and we haven't missed a beat, I don't think. You may not be making some of the people happy all the time, but you're doing the best for the township all the time. I appreciate right. that. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do not have anybody signed in for any public comments tonight. Does anyone have anything they'd like to present to the board? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Good. So we've learned a lot here tonight, everybody. <laughs> we've got a lot going on. People in the township, be safe. Things that we're doing are to keep you safe, all the way from paving to all the projects. 
Town Square, Delhi Town Square is to make Delhi fun and exciting and keep us relevant in the world. You know, one of the incredible gifts of Delhi is that you literally are 13 or 14 minutes from downtown and beyond. So we're using that. We're going to market that. We're going to sell that. And that Town Square is going to bring energy and excitement. You want restaurants and retail? You have to create volume. And that's what we're going to do. So uh, lots going on here in 2023 and beyond. So we're excited about that. So thank you for all you do uh, as a residents, taking care of your homes and your properties. Watch the red lights, please. And don't park your cars on the front lawn. Anyway, <laughs> lest I digress. <laughs> Anyone else here at the board have anything you'd like to close with for this first meeting of 2023? I'd like to hear from Skyler for 30 seconds. Skyler, are you ready for this? As ready as I can be. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to diving in at first tomorrow morning. So I'll be here bright and early. Um, expect to uh, to get to know my team uh, a lot better over the over the next uh, several days and beyond. So you know it's a uh, it's a good team, and I think we're going to do a lot together. So looking forward I, to it. Yeah, I think you'll see that. I think you have some of the best department heads you could possibly have who uh, are there to support you and encourage you, affirm you in your mission as the administrator, as you will do for them. And uh, it's going to be great. Trustee Sturge, did you? No. Trustee no. Seavey? Looking forward. To more Welcome, time. Skyler. Good. We're, we're happy you're here. We have a need for uh, community events. <laughs> sorry, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going below it. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we no. have. Go ahead, Trustee. We have <laughs> We have the Delhi Branch Library Valentine's Day me. Puzzle Wreath on Saturday, February the 4th at 11 a.m. And that will be at the Delhi Branch Library at 5095 Foley Road. It is for adults and seniors. Registration is required. Call the library with any questions. The Delhi Historical Society Program, Cemeteries of Delhi Township, is Monday, February 13th. It's at 7 p.m. at the Delhi Community Senior Center on 647 Neeb Road. Learn about local cemeteries that are known and some that are nearly forgotten. Contact the Delhi Historical Society with any questions. That's all we have. Thank you, sir. We will now entertain a motion to retire to executive session tonight. We have a motion to retire to executive session to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, and or compensation of a public employee of the township, and to consider conf confidential information related to the marketing plans, specific business strategy, trade secrets, or personal financial statements of an applicant for economic development assistance and imminent litigation. So moved. Second. Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mr. Sturtz. Yes. Mr. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Yes. Davis. Yes, yes. Our next meeting is going to be Tuesday, January 24th at 6 p.m. Everyone's always welcome. Those watching from home, feel free to come on out, sit in the audience, enjoy a meeting, and any needs that you have, please bring them up starting tomorrow at 9 o'clock to Skyler. <laughs> yeah, really inundated. Yeah, notice that it's Tuesday the 24th, not yeah, Wednesday the day. 25th, so it, it's a different day. Great. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the week, everyone. Click, click. Hmm?